everyone, welcome to The Singing Chef. In this video, we're gonna be making a really beautiful Indian mushroom rice, just like the restaurants, just like the takeaways, using all authentic spices and ingredients. We'll show you how to do it step by step. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more of my upcoming videos. Let's cook. Hi everyone, welcome to The Singing Chef. So to do our beautiful Indian mushroom rice, we need about two cups of basmati rice. So what we need to do with this, and it's a very important step, and a lot of people miss it out when they're cooking rice, and they wonder why their rice gets horrible and sticky and claggy. Um, we don't want any of that, okay? So the only way to avoid that, okay, and this is the most important step, and that is to rinse your rice, okay? So all you need to do is put your rice into a colander, which we're gonna do in just a moment, and we're gonna put it under the tap, cold water, and keep rinsing it until the water runs clear, okay? Because to start with, it will run like a sort of milky color. And what that's doing is that's washing all of the starch out of the rice. We don't want, or, we want, or should I say, we want to limit the amount of starch in our rice, okay? Because that is what will give us a lovely, fluffy rice. Okay, so this is the most important step. So we're gonna rinse this off and we'll be right back once we have done just that. So our rice has had a good rinse with a colander under a cold tap. We've rendered out all of the excess starch and as you can see, the water is nice and clear in there now, um, which is a really good sign. It means our rice is gonna be lovely and fluffy once it's cooked. And I've got two cups of basmati rice in there as explained before. So for every cup of rice you use, you want to use two cups of water. We've got two cups of rice, so we need four cups of water. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave that to cook now. My rice cooker is now on, and we'll come back to that once that's been cooked. Okay, so our rice is at about 12 minutes in the rice cooker, and we're just now gonna come and have a look to see what we've got. Oh yeah, yep, that's fluffy, all right. Absolutely beautiful, wow. See, the rinsing process is, oh, just uh, steaming up the whole viewfinder there. <laughs> um, as you can see, you know, the rinsing, so important. I mean, look how fluffy that is. If the viewfinder stops getting steamed up. <laughs> I mean, that is really beautiful and lovely and fluffy. And all we need to do now is put that into a bowl. So that's our rice into a bowl. And all we need to do now is cover that with some plastic wrap and put in the fridge for about, I don't know, about an hour minimum before we decide to use it. Right, while we're waiting for our pan to heat up, um, I'll just talk you through the spice mix that we're gonna be putting into our rice. Okay, these are all very important integral flavors that we need for this. Okay, so we'll start off with the aromatics. So over here, we have what they call in India, cassia bark, um, which is also known as a cinnamon stick over here. We've got our cardamom pods, so I want four of those. Actually, no, we've got five of those there. Mathematics, Dan, was never my strong point. Um, we've got four cloves, okay. Uh, with regard to our spices, okay, so we've got a quarter of a teaspoon of cumin. We've got one teaspoon of ground coriander. We've got half a teaspoon to three quarters of a teaspoon of turmeric. We've got one heaped teaspoon of mild curry powder. We've got one teaspoon of panch paron, which is basically a Bangladeshi uh, spice mix. Uh, it's got things, well, it's actually more seeds than anything. Um, it's more sort of like fenugreek seeds, you've got mustard seeds, you've got fennel seeds, cumin seeds. So it's a really nice aromatic mixture of different Indian or Bangladeshi seeds. And lastly, but certainly not least, we've got some dried fenugreek, okay? This is also known as kasori methi. <laughs> it sounds a bit ominous, um, but it's a really beautiful, fragrant, dry herb used widely in Indian cuisine. And you can get this from all the Asian stores. Now, while we're talking about our spices, um, these spices I've got here, um, I actually got from a proper Asian store because there's certain things on this plate that you will not find in your normal everyday regular supermarket, okay? Things like your panch paron, Mm, you're not likely to find that in a supermarket. Kasuri methi, fenugreek, 
you might find it in the spice aisle in, in some of the better sort of supermarkets, but I would highly recommend you get down to your local Asian stores. They're darted all around the city. Um, and I'm sure wherever you are in the world, there will be an Asian store somewhere nearby where you live. And I highly recommend you go to them because you can get these spices in big packets for literally nothing, okay? They're so cheap. Um, you go to the supermarkets, you get a poxy little pot and they'll cost you, you know, silly money. So if you go, if you go to a proper Asian store, have a look around, have a look about, and you'll find all of these spices in and around the Asian stores, okay? And like I say, they are way cheaper to buy in the Asian stores because you get a bigger bigger pack of each spice. And then once you've got the spices, okay, they'll last you for ages. I mean, it all depends on how many curries and things you decide to make. Um, but they will last you a really long time. So what might be a little bit of a palaver to start with, go out to your Asian stores, get all your spices, and then you're ready to go whenever you want to make yourself or make your friends, family, a really beautiful, authentic curry. You've got everything to hand. So we're now going to get on with our dish without any further ado. We've got our pan on, uh, a nice medium heat. That's now heating up, so we'll take you through the next and final stage of this beautiful Indian mushroom rice dish. Okay, right, so now onto the cooking. This is the final part of this lovely Indian mushroom rice. Is We've got a nice, relatively large sauté pan here. Now I've got some vegetable oil just heating up. We've got it on a really high heat, okay? We want to get a really good um, cook on these mushrooms before we carry on with the rice. Uh, so we can get our mushrooms in now. Okay, really nice hot pan. They're going to take just a few minutes just to cook down. So our mushrooms now, there's about two cups of mushrooms in here by the way. I forgot to mention how much uh, to use, but this would be roughly for sort of three or four people um, in total in the end. But yeah, two cups of mushrooms. They've just now been sautéed off, so we're going to put them into our bowl. Straight back on the heat, keep the heat nice and hot, and then to that we want to put a tablespoon of all butter ghee. Really important stuff. That's ghee by the way. It looks a little bit like that. You can get it in all the Asian stores and you can get it in all the good supermarkets as well now. Uh, but I do recommend the butter ghee, not the vegetable ghee for this particular part. And to that we want to be adding a bit of vegetable oil as well. We want to get our aromatics in there. Our cinnamon stick, our cardamom pods, and our cloves and also our panch peron. A little bit of smoke coming off that now, don't worry about that. We just want to flavour that oil. And then get your rice straight in, no messing about. And the smell is incredible. You've got lovely aromatic fragrances coming off of this now. Absolutely beautiful. You will make a little bit of mess with rice. I can't always keep it in the pan. It's just impossible when you're doing this sort of cooking because it's furious, it's fast. Absolutely no messing about. This is why it's really important to have all your spices and things ready to go. You don't want to be running around the kitchen like a headless chicken trying to find all your bits and pieces. You want it all close to hand. So our rice is nicely coated now with all of those lovely aromatics. You've got the ghee, you've got the vegetable oil in there. We might need to add a little bit more oil, we'll see. And then this is a good stage to then get the rest of your spice mixes in, okay, so they can just go in like that. Everything's gonna get a good mix up now. Absolutely beautiful, and you'll see this rice will go from being white, as you can see it's now turning this beautiful yellow color. And that is the turmeric doing its job. Need just a little bit more oil at this stage, I can see. Rice will absolutely absorb. So another couple of tablespoons in there. Okay, we don't want it greasy, but we don't want it dry. Do you know what I mean? So, right, so that's had a good, nice 
mix with kept it moving. Don't leave it. Don't just go walking off and leaving it. You've got to keep it moving in the pan, all right? At this stage, we want to go in there with about a teaspoon of sugar. Okay. You want a little bit of salt, as much as you want, but I know rice does need a good seasoning, otherwise it can taste a bit nothingy. Another stir round, and then we can return our mushrooms. Looking like something you'd get in a really nice Indian restaurant now. And I can assure you, it will taste just like it does from the restaurants and the takeaways. But better. Okay, nothing's been standing around for days on end. This has all been made on the day. Fresh ingredients. Now what I like to do at this stage, camera on the pot still, is get some nice freshly chopped coriander in little stir and this is just about ready to serve up and there we go a beautiful Indian mushroom rice just like it would be if you had it in the restaurant I will say this is actually better than a restaurant style okay you've done it yourself you've done it at home using proper authentic ingredients made the proper way in my time I've worked in Indian restaurants behind the scenes you know, I've seen what goes on, I've seen how things are made, and I can promise you this is exactly how it's done, but it's gonna be better, because you've done it on the day, you've made it from fresh, all right? That is a beautiful, beautiful rice dish. I could just eat that on its own, no problem at all, but absolutely gorgeous with any curry that you make. I've got some fantastic uh, curry recipes, authentic curry recipes coming onto my channel very, very, very soon, so keep your eyes peeled for those, and there will be links on those videos also um, for other Indian inspired uh, dishes as well. So there you go, a complete Indian mushroom rice, just like it would be from the restaurant.